Hello and welcome to Hobbs and Friends. Today we are going to be doing the quest, The Book Hunt, inside of the library in House of Thule. And I'm going to be doing this one solo without my boxes, uh, just because this quest involves going to like four different zones and a lot of running around. And I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, get the quest here from Cur Curator Risalda and uh, go from there. You do not appear to be a dreamer. You should not be in this place. However, since you are here, perhaps I can make use of you. I have a problem that must be addressed. What is your problem? An inventory was recently conducted and we found several books have been removed from the library. Obviously, we need these books to be returned. And that's where you come in. Would you be willing to search the house and the surrounding grounds for the missing books? I will search for the books. How fortunate. Some of them have been missing for quite some time and others vanished only recently. One such book, The Fallen Gods, was most recently seen in the hands of Atmos, the poet. I will look forward to the return of the missing volumes. All right. So as you can see here, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so we need to go to the house of Thule, the well and the grounds to find all of these uh, books. And then the Fallen Gods is a sub quest from that guy in the grounds and whatnot. So I have all my boxes here in Guild Hall and they're not gonna come with me. So let's go ahead and end this up and leave the library. All right, so if you are uh, using the goods maps, some of them should be marked, right? Now, if you go to the Alakazam page for the book hunt, it will also give you the coordinates for all of these books. You can see here, this book's marked there. Uh, there's another book marked here. So all we're going to do is go pick, pick up books. It's going to be relatively easy. Uh, the only thing we're going to have to deal with is any named mobs that see us. Uh, but we should be fine. <laughs> we should be fine. And it looks like there's someone here. So we shouldn't have to worry about too many mobs. All right. So the first mob or the folks first book was right here. All right. We got a mob on us. Let's kill it real quick. Now I do not, I checked my mercenary. I have a um, melee DPS mercenary, so I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bother with that. It'll just cause more issues than anything, but these are tier one. I should be able to solo tier one mobs without any issue. Now I don't have uh, double invis and I'm going to lose bard speed soon. So it's just a matter of uh, going through this. All right. So that book's done. We need to go, where is this? Right over there. Helps to turn off attack before you do that. I, I figured it's just easier to do it this way. Now we would have no real problem doing it uh, with all the characters it just it takes a while to go to each of these spots and all that stuff so might as well just do it this way all right so these are going to be undead so we're going to swap to invis undead inside this room grab of the book there there we go and if we go right here go back to cloak of shadow <laughs> just skirting around as best we can right all right now unfortunately these books do not seem to have like any kind of check off list do they oh they do okay when you all right they're going off there that's perfect now if we look at the quest list the there are two more in this zone so there's one more right up there and where is the other one the other one is there all right perfect so let's go get those now that doesn't see me so that's good <laughs> go through here all right someone's killing these mobs perfect i'll just pop through the invisible wall here and grab the book off the table i can click it there we go jump back through that invisible wall Let's do an F1 or a one to clear all the corpses. And where is this one down this hallway? 
through here. All right, this is gonna be, these are normal mobs, I believe. So we don't have to worry about that. And it's gonna be right over here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, hit a, I hit numpad one on my uh, mouse. Squeezing too hard as I did the turn. I were fine though. All right, looking good. Now, well, uh, there's the books right there on the floor. Let's just grab it right now. Get these guys gone. Perfect. And there we go. So elegant nightstone. And we can reinvis. So where do we need to go now? Now we need to go to the well. Uh, well, the ground's in the well. So I'm going to go ahead and head there. And we'll cut that running out. But it's literally from right here to right there. All right. So we're in the grounds. Uh, at most, the bard is right here by the door. Hail him. Uh, turn off and viz. Hail him. And then he goes, oh, you startled me. I was busy composing some new lyrics based on a book I'd recently read recently. Was it there something you wanted? I want your book. The book? It was called The Fallen Gods. I recently come across a fantastic library inside the house and I decided to take it with me. I need The Fallen Gods back. Well, I don't have the book anymore. You see, while I was watering the garden, several unfortunate encounters with beasts therein dropped everything I was carrying and barely escaped with my life. Or did you drop everything? Yes, including the book. Um, say, if you were to go into the garden and find my belongings, I'd be happy to give you the book. All right, I will find your belongings. So you can only get this quest, the Spoonie Bard, when you have the book hunt active. All right, so now there are five books in this zone, if you think about it. Uh, let's see here, where are they all at? Uh, there's one book down here. One book over here. One book over there. And I think that's four. And the fifth one is from uh, Killing Sings to get the, his belongings back. Now, you you remember when we did the grounds, they were dropping constantly. So we should be not, shouldn't be too hard to get these things. <laughs> and if, if it looks like there's somebody already here killing stuff, so we might be able to easily pick up some of this stuff as we go through here. I'm gonna just hop the fence here, jeez. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a raw dog right there, perfect. This should give us... That snake is like tearing us up. Come on. Don't tell, don't tell me I have to go get a healing mercenary because I'm not gonna wanna play that game. <laughs> Advanced loot. Uh, no, okay. So it might take a few kills to get what we need, but we should be able to get it. Should be another raw dog right over here. Let's see what is it? Mulch cubes? Mulch cubes are over here. Is up and. There is a mulch cube right there. Mad mulch cube. Hopefully he counts. He's the placeholder for the name cube right here. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get this guy uh, taken care of. Da -da -da. Good. Come on. Oh, I don't know why you're running. I don't like that. All right, leaving heap. All right, so this is, this is obviously going to take a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, we got to kill Bixies too, so <laughs> this is pleasant. All right, let's hide that. I mean, we get 0.3% experience, so that's not too bad. We can sell this stuff, not bad. Uh, let's see here, mad cube. Oh, geez, he's sell right through us. All right, uh, I'm going to oh, three of them. I 
I'm gonna mantle this. I don't think I need it, but just in case. It's extra damage, and the way I have this guy built, like skill wise, he's you know gonna be using a lot of uh, a lot of life taps as I spam the button as much as I possibly can. Go. It's working out pretty well, I think. And yeah, like we we could probably solo like the rest of the game without much issue. Uh but where is this one? There it is. Uh but it's, it's so much faster with a group. There's another one somewhere around here. That's an instant yet. Wow. All right. Well, that was disappointing. We did not get what we wanted. Let's just waddle around here because we're so slow. There's another one. There's a mulch cube might be a little bit more inclined to give us what we want. Let's go ahead and snare this one. You know, since we are soloing, well, let's use our dots, because these are... Like, I never use them, right? <laughs> I keep them memorized at all times for some reason. Uh, nothing else to put in the slots. Nope. No luck there. All right. Clip shadows. I can't believe we didn't get any of those, but all right, let's just go pick up the books. So, uh, where are we at? That's right down here. Uh, apparently I got mobs on me. Three mobs, in fact. Here, let's, let's dot them all up. There's one. Two. They're gonna kill my pet. That's unfortunate for him. Probably unfortunate for me since he's probably gives me a little bit of DPS. Right? I don't think I've ever parsed just the pet to see how much damage it does, but I can't imagine it's much for a Shadow Knight pet. Especially since I don't give it any gear or anything like that because it dies so much. Just dies. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, no luck there. All right, so let's invis up. Oh, what we got down here? Another rot. Oh gosh. Well, we need to kill Rodok, so it's not too bad. We're gonna get the cape from that, but it's just frustrating because uh, it is. Uh, Undead. All right, there we go. And I'm pretty sure I have it marked as don't loot, so it's not going to pop up right away. All right, what I want to do is grab the one right over here by this statue, and then we're going to drop, drop down the well and grab the one in the well real quick. Just so we, because we're going to be spending most of our time here in the grounds. Might as well. Good. There's someone else here. Perfect. There we go. Drop down the well. And I believe this is the Frostbitten Expedition one. So that'll be the next one off the list anyway. Because it's going to take us a little while to get that uh, quest item, I think. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Invis up. Where is this book? It's literally right here. So just so down. Run through here. We should be able to see it on the ground. Right here. 
Now we need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, so we can just go straight through here. Go up the little ramp, jump, fail the jump. Try it again. There we go. And uh, this will take us right out to uh, the next area. The bucket is right behind this wall. Go, just click the bucket and you zone out. All right, so we're back here. All right, this guy is kiting here, so that's cool. All right, let's check these Bixies. Oh, there's the rapier. All right, perfect. We don't have to kill Bixies now. All right, let's invis up. We need to go get something. <laughs> let's go over here. Uh, let's avoid the ones this guy's like killing. He seems to be having a good time there so I'll let him uh, do that oh god all right I'm gonna feign death all this junk off up here all right let's get uh I guess rot dogs Now the other books are on the other side of the zone. There's one there and one there. So we're going to get, uh, try to get the, what is it? The cape right here from uh, these real quick. Come on. Haha, -ha, we got the cape. And that to Hobbsy boy. All right, well, he's got a mark. Just don't, don't loot. All right, Hobbs, loot that. There you go. All right, so now we need to kill bone golems. So, where are we at? If we go in through here, this will probably be the best way to get there. Uh, bone golems and mulch cubes. Now, the mulch cubes should spawn like all over, if I'm not mistaken. So we just kind of go to the bone golems. Uh, let's go through this way. Now these are undead. There's a mulch cube there. So let's just see if we can sneak around some of this stuff. All right, I'm going to kill this guy. Hopefully that, oh, he did. I was hoping the mulch cube would add. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Man, this guy is like ripping me up. Ouch. Come on. Get some healing on this guy, please. And there is the satchel that we also have marked as denied. And that to Hobbs. All right, <laughs> getting, getting getting closer, cloak. Okay, this wasp uh, just maybe I had attack on still. All right, let's take a look at the map while we're fighting this guy. We're at 100 health, so we should be fine. So right here, so we're gonna go get this one, plus kill kill blown golems, and then we'll grab that last book. And there is still one more that we don't have. They're all on the grounds. I actually don't know where it is. We'll see when we we'll see when we get this one down here. All right, cloak of shadows. Cause that's two. Yeah, there's there's one more book that's not on the map for some reason. Yeah, all right, these all see and vis, so let's pull this guy up here. All right, let's see if we can. There's baking. Um, there is wargs. Is that the name of a book? 
what's the name of a bug, but... No, didn't get it. So we should be able to skate our way up here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is that guy. So this is going to be tricky. Absolutely tricky. So where is he? It is right there. So. All right, we're going to just <laughs> kill what we can real quick. I really don't want to die. I'd be a real pain in the butt. If I had a healer mercenary, I would feel more confident with this like six pull room in here, but I think we can eliminate some of these guys real quick. I might be able to solo pull this guy. Let me try. Nope. <laughs> death that I should split them a little bit kill this guy I think they're coming perfect they're not too mean right like that's that's kind of the joy of this right it's we we should be able to heal it off that uh it's not terrible. And we do have like enough buffs that it's not too bad. Go, these are just dropping. And we just need the loot from the Bone Golems, I guess the Fallen Gods. And I gotta figure out, <laughs> I gotta figure out all, these, all these other things. Okay. All right, I can I can handle three. I still have leech touch, and should be fine. I'm gonna scourge skin. I'm gonna uh, gorgon skin. There we go. That's more damage shields for us. Perfect. And we did it. <laughs> what are we? We're level, level 93, able to solo break a room and a. There it is, right there on the ground. Now. Just making sure the loot's not there. <laughs> Alright, let's invis up. Let's go, uh, it's a forlorn one, they're all named ones, are the placeholders for the named. It's kind of, I don't know, we got, oh, we got a bunch of stuff on us now. Should be fine. Death's effigy is up, so we're good for that. Uh, no luck on the loot yet. Just drop that down there. No loot. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right, let's zoom out here. What are we missing? Zombies and you and baking. All right, so that's baking. I'm not 100% sure where the zombies book is. Let's, grab, let's get this guy. Is it in this zone, right? Grounds, grounds, grounds. They're all in the grounds. 
Maybe I'm just, I missed it when I was looking through this real fast. Zombies are up here. Let me switch to like the Brie Wall map maybe. Now the Brie Wall map does not have, does not have anything good on it. Let's take a look here. Yeah, uh, we'll find it. I need another bone golem. <laughs> uh, there's a there's an actual bone golem over here. I don't know if the forlorn ones will drop it or not. I just don't want to waste my time if I can avoid it. Ugh, I got frogs on me now. I mean, we're getting a lot of experience from this solo. I guess. no loot I got like so many dots on me man it's crazy it's looking uh, <laughs> looking pretty uh, pretty dire right now oh uh, Come on. And the last snake. All right, let's invis up. I guess we're gonna have to kill these forlorn ones. Oh, really? You see invis? Son of a gun. <laughs> Oh, I guess I was dotted up probably too, right? Let's con this guy right here. They're indifferent. I don't know. He got me. Oh yeah. Come on down, guys. Come on down. Bring your snake. Bring everything. Alright. Leech curse. And no loot on him. The leech curse helped a lot, but jeez. I like how it's like a mini uh, life t uh, lay, uh, lay of hands. Oh, this is looking bad. All right, pain death. Oh, good. I'm not dotted, so that is fine. <laughs> Just wait for this thing to walk away. We got a little too low there for my own uh, taste. Let's see here. Let's let her reset. What is that one down there? That's a forlorn. Yeah, those are all the placeholders for the named. And then there's wasps over on that side. Ouch. All right, let's uh, stand up. She does not see. All right, none of those seeing fits, so I'm going to just <laughs> skirt her way over. Here. Oh my gosh. Alright, there's another bone go. Yeah, this one should work. I should be able to heal up on this one guy here. Come on. And there's the loot. Send that to Hobbsy. Cloak of Shadows. All right. <laughs> Let's get out of this area. All right. So we got that. Now we can get the uh, Fallen Gods from him. 
Uh, right, right over here is the baking book. So we're gonna grab that. That's the next book. And we should be fine over here. There shouldn't be any undead. Uh, the only thing I'd probably be concerned about would be if we run into a um, a named. There it is, right here on the statue. And then the zombies book, I'm guessing is actually this right here. Uh, because that is not just zombies up there. <laughs> so let's go and check. We are extremely low on life though, so. Gonna have to, uh, Hopefully, not die. Alright, what do we got? We got a zombie there, we got a zombie there. Most likely gonna have to fight something here. I can skirt along the ridgeway here. Perfect. Alright. And then right down here. If we do get any ads, I'll just faint them off. All right, so first things first, let's go over here to this guy. Let's see, he wanted his cloak. He wanted his rapier. He wanted his bag. And he wanted his loot. There you go. Speak to him. Gave us the book. Rummages around its pack and says, Amazing, found everything. Here's the book as promised. Perfect. All right, we get 0.7 experience for that. And uh, now we're good. Now, conveniently, there's a, like a massive party over here killing everything. So, the zombies book says it's like right here. There it is, right there. Perfect. All right, now we have all the books. So I'm just gonna, is there, is there a group here? Yeah, I'm gonna s just like sit right here for a moment and get a little health back. I am, uh, I do have a campfire inside of the library. So that's what we're gonna do and we'll go. All right, we're back in the library. Here's the cur curator, let's go and hail him. And uh, you were able to recover all the missing books and return them. So I guess you don't have to hand those in individually perfectly. Uh, there we go. We are the savior of the library. So we get a trophy uh, for that. And this. And let's see, this is gonna give us heroic wisdom and endurance if we place that down. I do not have a house yet, so <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, but we'll go ahead and accept that. And then for doing the quest, we get uh, 0.1 or 1.59 percent experience, 315 platinum, 20 dream motes, and some faction. Done. We are done with the library. <laughs> oh man, uh, that is a good to be, a good feeling because I I did not like this zone at all. Uh, but the library is done. So the next up is Erden's or Erden burning burning Erden. Uh, I don't know is the next zone. That's where we're going next. So thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.